a magnificent Renaissance castle in the little town of Kolditz, located in Saxony, Germany, sits on a steep slope that provides a view of the Mulder River. And although the stronghold has evolved into a prominent tourist attraction and museum in Europe in recent years, it is famous not because of its enchanting beauty, but rather the notorious role it played during World War II. Welcome back to Facts Fanatics. We are dedicated to bringing you the most shocking and downright unbelievable real-life incidents that stun the world. Today, we'll dive into several riveting stories of World War II prisoners who led a daring escape from a vaunted castle prison. So let's get into it. In the year 1940, Nazi Germany converted the ancient Kolditz Castle, also known as Offlag IVC, into a prison of war or POW camp. The Nazis designed the prison to contain the incorrigibles, those Allied officers who had escaped many times from other POW camps and high-value political prisoners. The prison's walls were seven feet thick, and they were encircled on all sides by a barbed wire fence and patrolled by German sentries and dogs. Kolditz housed some of the most accomplished Allied prison breakers from various nationalities during World War II. Among those imprisoned was Phantom Major David Sterling, a founding member of the British Special Air Service SAS, Charles Upham, the only New Zealand soldier awarded the Victoria Cross two times. Prisoners with political value to the Nazis included Giles Romley, a nephew of noted British Prime Minister Winston Churchill, and two nephews of King George VII. Between the years 1940 and 1945, Colditz Castle housed over 800 prisoners. It was the site of nearly 300 prisoner escape attempts, with 32 successful escapes and at least 15 escapes being a complete success home runs, in which the escapee successfully crossed Germany back into Allied territory. With each new escape success came even more audacious plans, and at this point, when we look back at history, the escape attempts almost sound too unreal to be true. Let's look at the courageous and ingenious approaches these prisoners took to escape from Kolditz Castle and the Nazis. Number 1. Masters of Disguise If there was a possibility that a strategy would succeed, regardless of how ludicrous or preposterous it might have appeared, it was attempted. Dominic Bruce, a bomber pilot for the Royal Air Force, is famous for making a whopping 17 attempts to flee Kolditz Castle. During these various attempts, he climbed down a 40-foot wall using nothing but knotted bedsheets, crawled through a wet sewer dressed as a Red Cross worker, tried to walk out of prison disguised as a Swiss doctor, and ultimately escaped hiding in a tea chest. These disguises and schemes would occasionally take on a more elaborate form, and many other prisoners used similar tactics. A woman from Germany, dressed in a frock and wearing a sun hat, went from inside of the prison to the outside of the prison without uttering a single word. One of the prisoners saw that she had dropped her watch and cried out to her in German as she was leaving the camp. A security officer questioned the woman, and after she failed to respond to his questions, he pursued her. To the guard's surprise, the lady was discovered to be none other than French Lieutenant Chasseur Alpin Bouly attempting to escape. Lieutenant Michael Sinclair, an officer in the British Army who was incarcerated in Colditz, was given the nickname Red Fox of Colditz due to red hair and outrageously crafty escape attempts. After planning one attempt to escape for six months, in September of 1943, he pretended to be the guard commander, who had earned the nickname Franz Joseph because of the Hindenburg moustache he sported. Sinclair donned the appropriate garb, cultivated his own moustache to a decent length, and even perfected the commander's mannerisms to fool a German guard who Sinclair was to replace at the changing of the guard. However, the ruse was exposed when the genuine Franz Joseph showed up and was shocked to see how much he looked like the imposter. After making his seventh and ultimately unsuccessful attempt flee, he was murdered by gunfire after climbing over a barbed wire fence. In addition to receiving the Distinguished Service Order Medal, the Nazis buried him in the Kolditz Cemetery with full military honors, a seven-gun salute, and made a Union Jack flag to drape his coffin. And lastly, no story about a towering castle first built in the 10th century and reconstructed in the Middle Ages would be complete without stories of ghosts and intrigue. Escape attempts were highly coordinated between prisoners. The ghosts were prisoners who would pretend to escape successfully and hide in the castle so that they could secretly replace other prisoners in the roll call line who were actively trying to escape. 
To trick Nazi guards at regular roll calls, a group of Dutch Navy officers made two plaster dummies or fake heads, Moritz and Max, and painted faces on them. Hans Lareve and Franz Steinsmerz successfully hit home run escapes back to Allied territory using these dummies. Number 2. The French Tunnel In a scenario that was eerily evocative of the film Shawshank Redemption, nine French officers labored non-stop to excavate an underground tunnel as part of one of the most audacious escape attempts at Colditz Castle. Two of the group's mining engineers utilized hand-hewn tools to dig and excavate the tunnel and installed electric lighting. The passageway started in the clock tower and ended at the castle wall below the church. The prisoners belonging to this specific group also constructed their very own sewing machines and dyed the clothes they were forced to wear in prison to make copies of German uniforms. Number 3. The Colditz Cock Glider Tony Rolt was considered to be one of Britain's most promising race car drivers before the outbreak of World War II. He won the British Empire Trophy in a famous 200-mile race, and during the same year, 1939 to be exact, he enlisted in the British Expeditionary Force. The following year, he was presented with the Military Cross for his participation in the successful defense of Dunkirk against a German panzer division. But why are we telling you this? Well, you see. After the defeat of France at the hands of Nazi Germany, the same Rolt was sent to many different German POW camps, from which he made seven unsuccessful escape attempts, earning him an express trip to Kolditz. Rolt arrived at Kolditz Castle in February of 1944, and he and a group of fellow prisoners devised a plan to build a glider inside the prison walls for Rolt and one other POW to launch and fly to freedom. The glider would be released through a hole in the attic and carried across the Mulda River, which was around 65 yards below POWs. Bill Goldfinch and Jack Best designed and built the glider behind a fake wall and a trap door leading to their workshop in the attic of a roof, hidden from German attention. Bed frames, floorboards, cotton sheets, and even oatmeal were used to construct a two-person glider that became known as the Colditz Cock. However, the clever guider that was supposed to take the prisoners to freedom was never able to take off. But don't worry, before the prisoners undertook this risky and daring plan, the United States Army liberated the castle in 1945. Number 4. The Hunger Strikes Lastly, not all POWs were traditional soldiers. British medical officer Birendra Nath Mazumda realized that moving to an all-Indian camp in France, where security would be less strict, would give him the best opportunity to escape. So, he went on a hunger strike to do just that. Mazumda stayed steadfast, even when he became too weak to get out of bed, and as Mazumda hoped, the Germans agreed to move him after 16 days. Mazumda was sent to a camp in Chartres, where he managed to flee along with his friend, Dariao Singh. In order to reach Switzerland and freedom, the two had to walk over 1,000 miles in just six weeks. The stories of escapees from Colditz castles are intriguing, haunting, and perhaps most of all, inspiring. Knowing what these individuals had to go through and the horrible conditions they faced make it all more amazing that they were able to overcome certain death to make daring and heroic escape attempts. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please help us to continue providing similar stories by liking and subscribing to our channel. Until next time.